This is the Music History Today podcast for April 2nd. On today's show, Johnny Cash records a classic, Stevie Wonder releases a classic, a classic singer is born, and a classic drummer unfortunately passes away. First up, though, on this date in 1956, Johnny Cash recorded the song, I Walk the Line. In 1957, Elvis Presley performed outside of America for the first time, performing in Toronto, Canada. In 1964, the Beach Boys recorded their song, I Get Around. Also on that same day, they fired their manager. In 1965, Freddie and the Dreamers recorded the song, Do the Freddie. In 1967, Steve Winwood left the Spencer Davis Group. In 1968, the Beatles formed their company, Python Music Limited. In 2011, LCD Sound System played their final show. In 2013, the boy band CD9 was formed. And in 2021, singer Michael Bublé renewed his 10-year wedding vows to actress and model Luisano Politaro. In classical music, in 1800, Ludwig van Beethoven premiered his Opus 21 Symphony No. 1 in C. And in 1944, Dmitry Shostakovich premiered his 8th Symphony. In award ceremonies that were held on April 2nd in 2023, Kane Brown was among the big winners at the CMT Video Music Awards. Albums that were released on April 2nd include in 1964 when Elvis Presley released Kissing Cousins. In 1971, Donny Hathaway released his self-titled album. In 1973, The Beatles released their greatest hits albums, The Beatles 1962-1966 and The Beatles 1967-1970, otherwise known as the Red and Blue albums. In 1975, Bad Company released Straight Shooter. In 1977, Phyllis Hyman released her self-titled album, and Jesse Colin Young released Love on the Wing. In 1981, Jefferson Starship released Modern Times. In 1982, David Bowie and Giorgio Moroder released the soundtrack to the movie Cat People. In 1984, the Cocktoo Twins released the EP The Spangle Maker. In 1985, Go West released their self-titled album. In 1988, Severed Heads released Bulkhead. In 1991, Lenny Kravitz released Mama Said, Mike and the Mechanics released Word of Mouth, and the Rolling Stones released Flashpoint. In 1996, Eric Clapton released Crossroads 2 live in the 70s. Citizen King released Count the Days. And the Atlanta Rhythm Section released their self-titled album, Atlanta Rhythm Section 96. In 1997, Our Lady Peace released Clumsy. In 2001, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds released No More Shall We Part. In 2007, Genesis released Genesis 1976 and 1982. In 2010, Richard Marks released Hits and Ballads. In 2012, Lotus Plaza released Spooky Action at a Distance and the Rolling Stones released L.A. Friday Live 1975. And in 2013, Charles Bradley released Victim of Love. Singles that were released on April 2nd include in 1963 when Sam Cooke released Another Saturday Night. In 1968, The Birds did a twofer. They released Artificial Energy and You Ain't Going Nowhere. In 1969, Marvin Gaye released Too Busy Thinking About My Baby and The Moody Blues released Never Comes the Day. In 1975, Led Zeppelin released Trampled Underfoot and Kiss released Rock and Roll All Night. In 1979, Frank Zappa released Dance and Fool. In 1982, Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder released Ebony and Ivory. In 1983, Duran Duran released Rio. In 1996, Hootie and the Blowfish released Old Man and Me. In 2001, Alicia Keys released Fallen, and in 2020, Asher Angel released All Day. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. 
Artists who were born on April 2nd include singer-songwriter Marvin Gaye, rapper Quavo, Karen Jane Woodward of Bananarama, singer Benjamin Lasnier, singer Serge Gainsbourg, musician Leon Russell, jazz guitarist Larry Coryell, Kurt Winter of The Guess Who, singer Lou Monty, Greg Camp of Smash Mouth, country folk singer Emmy Lou Harris, David Robinson of The Cars, Leon Wilkinson of Leonard Skinner, singer Gregory Abbott, bass player Tony Franklin, radio host Bobby Jones, singer Woo Jin Lee, rapper Young Jock, singer Tracy Braxton, country music singer Billy Dean, singer Joe Vitale, singer Aaron Kelly, singer Buddy Jewell, singer Kenya Bell, opera singer Mary Jean O'Doherty, singer Daniel Seavey, Herbert Mills of the Mills Brothers, country music singer Warner Mack, Kent Morrill of the Fabulous Whalers, and Dave Bronze of Procol Harum. Artists who unfortunately passed away on April 2nd include composer Johann Lohner, who passed away in 1705 at the age of 59. Composer Johann Koenig passed away in 1758 at the age of 67. Violinist and composer Pierre Leclerc passed away in 1784 at the age of 74. Hymnist Hieronymus Van Alpen passed away in 1803 at the age of 56. Composer Hugo Kahn passed away in 1932 at the age of 69. Composer Mikolas Moises passed away in 1944 at the age of 71. Pianist Simon Barrer passed away from a cerebral hemorrhage while performing Grieg's Piano Concerto at Carnegie Hall in New York City in 1951 at the age of 54. Cellist and composer Wallingford Rieger passed away from head injuries from a fall while walking his dog in 1961 at the age of 75. Composer Renzo Bossi passed away in 1965 at the age of 81. Conductor Jessica Hornstein passed away in 1973 at the age of 74. Jazz drumming legend Mr. Buddy Rich passed away in 1987 at the age of 69. Big band singer Paula Kelly passed away in 1992 at the age of 72. Saxophonist Julius Hempfill passed away in 1995 at the age of 57. Country music pianist Leo LeBlanc passed away from cancer in 1995 at the age of 55. Blues guitarist and singer Guitar Gabriel passed away in 1996 at the age of 70. Composer Zolt Durko passed away in 1997 at the age of 62. Singer-songwriter Edwin Starr passed away from heart issues in 2003 at the age of 61. Composer Jacques Bondon passed away in 2008 at the age of 80. Jazz saxophonist Bud Shank passed away in 2009 at the age of 82. Sound engineer, astronomer, and DJ George E. Malberg, a.k.a. Dr. Cosmo, passed away in 2011 at the age of 56. Record sound engineer Doug Sachs passed away in 2015 at the age of 78. Jazz saxophonist Gatto Barbieri passed away in 2016 at the age of 83. Lead singer Mike Gibbons of Bo Donaldson and the Haywoods passed away in 2016 at the age of 71. Composer Claudio Spies passed away in 2020 at the age of 95. Bassist B.B. Dickerson of the group War passed away in 2021 at the age of 71. And record label executive Seymour Stein of Sire Records passed away in 2023 at the age of 80. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is April 3rd when, in 2008, Jay-Z signed his 360 deal with Live Nation, which also included him getting his very own record label. 